Hello. In this tutorial, we will take a quick look into how Hezekas technology works when deployed on multiple clouds. For those who do not know, Hezekas is the distributed technology where the data is stored in partitions and partitions are distributed across cluster members. You can deploy a Hezekas cluster on any cloud platform, be it IBM Cloud on OpenShift or OpenShift Standalone, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud. There are several ways a Hezekas cluster can be deployed on these clouds through Kubernetes or containerized in Docker, can be deployed on Zookeeper, Yarn, or simply on VMs. Hezekas is now certified for all cloud packs and on Red Hat OpenShift. But for in this tutorial, we are particularly keen on multiple cloud management. And for the rest of this video, we will look at how Hezekas enables deployment and managing of distributed clusters across multiple clouds. So we'll see a short demo of three different Hezekas clusters deployed on OpenShift, AWS EC2, and on-prem, basically my laptop, and how they communicate with each other when applications begin to use them. So to enable multiple cloud or call it multi-site deployment of Hezekas clusters, we will use a key feature called WAN replication. WAN replication allows to keep multiple Hezekas cluster members running on different clouds or platforms in sync with each other. WAN application can be used to configure cluster usage as active-active, active-passive, or active-DR. The direction of the data traffic is fully configurable. In a multi-site deployment, you get to decide which site will replicate to which other sites. It could be one way or it could be bi-directional. Okay, demo time. So we have one cluster up and running on OpenShift environment. Here is my OpenShift environment. Uh, we have, I've got three pods. This is my OpenShift environment, which hosts a cluster of uh, two Hezekas server nodes um, here. And we can see the cluster in management center dashboard that shows my two members here. And the other member, which is uh, the server node. And similarly, we have uh, a cluster running on AWS EC2, which again has two members, uh, but uh, has no data at all, and a cluster running on my laptop. So we can just change the cluster in the management center console, and we can see the other cluster on my laptop, as you can see here. Um, two members, again, um, and no data. So what we'll do is launch an application, which will send the data to the cluster running on my laptop and we will see how that cluster replicates the data running to uh, uh, replicates the data to the clusters running on ec2 and uh, openshift so there we go this is my client application it's all set to go and we will just launch it all right so it has connected to my cluster running on the laptop and we can see Here in the console, the cluster running on my laptop, it has now created two maps. One is called multi-cloud map and the other one is test map. You can see the data of multi-cloud map is distributed across the two nodes in the cluster. Same story with test map, the other map. And we'll see what's happening on the other two clusters. First on EC2, there we go. That's my EC2 cluster, two members and it now has two maps, same, exactly same maps. So Multi-cloud map has 300 data entries spread across the two nodes in the cluster. And the same goes with test map, which also has two entry, uh, 700 entries spread across two nodes in the cluster. Now we will check the cluster running on OpenShift environment. So here is my cluster on OpenShift. And let's check what's happening with the data. There you go. So we have one multi-cloud map, uh, 300 data entries in it, and uh, the test map has 700 entries in it. So we just saw how one cluster WAN replicates the data to other clusters running on different clouds. Now my local cluster, or call it the source cluster, source to the, uh, the, the EC2 and OpenShift cluster, it doesn't have to run on my laptop. It could run on any other cloud platform, the Google cloud platform or any other cloud platform of your choice. 
So what we'll do now as the next stage of experiment is uh, we will launch an app, the application again and this time the application will connect to OpenShift cluster and we will see how OpenShift cluster becomes the source of a WAND application topology and how it sends the data or how it WAND applicates the data to the other cluster which is EC2. So this is going to be um, one OpenShift cluster only to EC2 cluster. And before that, uh, we will wipe the cluster clean. So, data and maps clean. So, we will now make just one little modification on our application. We will first shut it down. And instead of testing on prem, we are now going to launch this to connect and test OpenShift Publisher. So, there you go. We launch our application. It now connects to the cluster running on OpenShift. Let's take a look on the cluster on OpenShift. Here's my OpenShift cluster. It, it, we can see now it has two clients. One is here's a cast um, management center client, which is this guy here. And this is the client coming out from my laptop. And I should see data coming into this uh, multi-cloud map here. So it now has seven entries. Now, like I said earlier, this OpenShift cluster is configured to WAN replicate to EC2 cluster. So let's see what's happening on EC2 cluster. That's my EC2 cluster here and uh, nothing in test map just yet, uh, but in multi-cloud map, it has started receiving data. It has now 15 entries. So my OpenShift cluster has 20 entries uh, in multi-cloud map. And I have 20 entries in my multi-cloud map in EC2 cluster. Let's see what's happening on the test map. All right, so we have uh, data coming in, started to come in in the test map. And let's see what's happening in the test map on EC2. There you go. So here, the test map also started receiving data from uh, OpenShift cluster. And that's about it. So we have seen how Hazelcast works when deployed on multiple sites that includes different cloud platforms. And with that, we conclude this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.